What's up guys, Jim Whitaker here with another episode of Going Solo. As I said in the first episode, this is a vlog that will be showing each step in the process and the creation of one of my songs from initial idea to commercial release, all with just one person. So if you're ready, let's hop right into it. On this episode, we discuss where it all starts, the initial idea. If you do any research on the methods of different songwriters, you'll see that there is no single way to write, and people have vastly different ways of writing songs. For me, with a couple of exceptions, the song ideas usually start in the form of a really short hook that pops in my head. A hook is a catchy melody or part of a song that draws people's attention. If you play someone a song once and there's a part that's stuck in their head an hour later that they keep wanting to hum to themselves or sing in their head, you have found the hook. An example of this would be this guitar lick that popped in my head a few years ago while I was at work. Of course, that ended up being the opening guitar lick for Waiting, which was released as a single in 2020 and later on the Trailing Edge album. That lick was only used in the very beginning, but it inspired the entire song following it. So where and when does this inspiration strike? Well, for me, definitely not where or when I'm trying to. <laughs> they happen on their own. I can't come up with a hook very easily when I'm pushing hard. They happen on their own whenever I'm by myself, usually in a quiet area. They tend to happen a lot when I'm at work when I'm not around a whole bunch of other people, and in the car when I'm driving by myself, usually a longer distance. But the number one place is actually in the shower. I think about three quarters of the Trailing Edge album was actually conceived in the shower. Once I have a little song piece in my head, I can sit down with that and work out the rest pretty easily for the most part. Now once these ideas present themselves, they need to be jotted down before they go away, never to be heard from again. I've lost count of how many song ideas I've had pop in my head that were gone two hours later because I didn't choose to do this. So for that, I turn to the trusty voice recorder app on the phone. I'll either sing the part or play it on guitar. Either way, I'll remember it and I'll be able to expand on it later. In the case of the song that we're doing for this vlog, here's the very first thing I ever came up with. I was in the shower one night trying to get almost into a modern country blues mood and I immediately imagined this A minor chord riff. <laughs> I immediately ran to the voice recorder to jot that down. Not that it's super complicated or anything, but I can forget just about anything so I don't take any chances. Officially Song Idea 186. I come up with my music first and then add the lyrics afterwards. So because there are no meaningful words attached to these ideas in the beginning, I've always numbered my song ideas to keep them organized and to keep them separated from each other. It also sometimes is interesting to see how old or new a song is or what era it came from when they're being put with other songs. As you can see, the Trailing Edge album had both the first song I ever wrote and at the time the latest one that I ever wrote at the very end. Next night I kept going through that riff in my head over and over and a chorus popped out. <laughs> And then I thought of a layered guitar approach. I thought it might sound nice that while one guitar was playing that part, I could add a second guitar layer playing the arpeggio parts. And that is the foundation for what will be the next single. In the next episode, this will be expanded into the full song structure that'll be the bed for both the initial demo and also the full song to be recorded from. As always, thanks for watching, and if you're enjoying this so far, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time on Going Solo.